everybody. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't think about this when I was preparing everything, but tonight I'm making a big, well, I don't have a crock pot, so I'm using our roast, turkey roaster, but I'm making chi chicken and rice fiesta for everybody. We have 10 plus a visitor. We have 11 people in the house, so it's going to take a lot, but there's what it's starting to look like. Um, I got two large packs of chicken thighs. Be best if you have chicken breast or chicken thighs boneless, but I didn't have boneless, so I had to put two big, big packs of chicken thighs with the bones, but that's okay. We have chopped up onions, jalapeno peppers, and all the seasonings that are in there. This will cook for two hours. Um, what I did is you get your a big measuring bowl, big, fill it for a hot, hot water. Then you take taco seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and your caldo de tomate, which in English is your tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. And two minced, clean to get rid of the seeds and veins, large jalapenos, oh, over there's the onions, four large onions chopped up, diced crushed tomatoes, one large can. We only had two cans of corn, so that's all we're going, I'm going to be using is the two cans of corn, rice. And it's best if you use pinto beans, but because we don't have pinto beans, I'm using the kidney beans, which it still tastes pretty good. Um, but after the chicken and everything cooks for, anyway, that's the seasonings that I had mixed into this bowl with hot water. Mix it all up, you know, make sure that all the seasonings and everything dissolve together. Then you take it. And you pour it in here on top of your chicken. Then you add your onions and your jalapenos in at the same time. You know. Then you put like three cups of water, regular water in there. Then you cover it and let it start simmering until, you know, of course I put my chicken in there frozen. Um, after you let them, you know, but like I said, it's a large crock pot. It depends on how large your family or how many people you're feeding. But I'm, we have a lot of people in the house. A lot. So I had to put a lot of chicken and, and stuff in here. But it's already been cooking for about an hour and a half. It still has a long way to go. But I'll let it cook for another two hours. When the chicken starts falling off the bone or falling to pieces. Then I'll start adding all the other stuff in. And this is called crock pot. Or like I said, we don't have a crock pot that big. So I'm using my roaster, my turkey roaster, which works just as well. That's what it looks like so far. But after this boils, and the chicken gets done, it starts falling off, and it's just about done, and falling off the bones or whatever. Then I'll start adding all the stuff in, the rice and all the veggies and stuff. Um, I don't need these or this because I've done added all that into it and the onions and stuff. But I poured everything back out because I had to show it to y'all what I had put in there. But it's chicken and rice to heat a crock pot for a very large family. I'm sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy, move, dizzy moving around and everything. But yeah. I didn't think about making a video until I had done had everything in there and then my mother started mopping the floors and stuff so I had to wait for her to finish that but yeah that's what we're having for dinner tonight chicken to heat chicken and rice to heat a crock pot and you add the season to taste however much season that you and your family like so and that's it all right, everybody, I wanted to share this little recipe with y'all. 
like I said, be best if I have pinto, but we're going to be I'm going to be using kidney and your your rice, corn, diced tomatoes, onion powder, tomato bouillon with chicken flavor, jalapeno peppers, onions, taco seasoning, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, to however much you want to add. And that's it. And then I will probably make a short after I had everything in it's done. And I'll probably make a short and show y'all what it looks like. Alright. Until the next time. Bye.